All right, hello everybody. Hello. Welcome back for some more digital snooze button. My name's Andy. And I'm Josh, as always. As always. You've never not been I, Josh, have you? That's true. I tried several years in my youth uh, to, to, to not beat me, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Ah, memories. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, welcome back again for another exciting episode where we re relive childhood traumas, I suppose. So oh, exciting. <laughs> um, if you don't know who we are, we are Snooze Button, an improv duo uh, where we bring in a guest, chat with them, and then make them the hero of their very own story while Josh and I play all the side characters and narrate the darn thing. Uh, this week, we are excited to bring in our guest, Matt Rapport. Da -da. Yeah. Da -da -da. Hello. He is. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank Hi. you for joining us this week. <laughs> Happy to be here. Nice to see you, yeah. fellas. Did you? Oh, that's that's a mirror behind you. Yeah, yes, yeah. right. <laughs> it looked like you drew an arm out of your back. No, for a I just thought you were on the, some awesome fancy bus, and that was just a small <laughs> hallway to the front. Oh my goodness. Uh, excellent. Uh, Matt, you want to tell the viewers just a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, Matt Rapport. I am an actor and a teaching artist. I'm also uh, here in, uh, mostly here in Kansas City. I, I, I'm based here in Kansas City, grew up here. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, am also the director of education for the Art of America Shakespeare Festival uh, and frequent actor on the stage there as well, happy to say. And uh, yeah, um, I have done a lot of different things in the entertainment business in my career. And, uh, <laughs> a story uh, career. Yes, yes. Uh, the costume care, I have characters, street <laughs> juggler, I've done it all. So, you know, here I am now. Lovely. Excellent. <laughs> now on the internet. <laughs> and now starring on Zoom. That's right. <laughs> Live in your <laughs> living room. Uh, excellent. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started then. Uh, Matt, is there a, a minor annoyance or frustration in your life right now or recently that you wouldn't yeah, like to I'm very, about? very glad you asked. Uh, I've been wanting to, I haven't, nobody will talk to me about this. Uh, just so unload it, man. Here, we're here I'm, for you. I'm, I'm going to let you have it. Um, <laughs> So <laughs> I've been in I've been in uh, locked in a in a death battle for the last oh month uh, with my uh, bathroom sink. So I have uh, learned a lot about um, PEX piping mm -hmm. and uh, these things called shark bites, which are okay. things you hook. I mean, as you may be gathering, is not my speciality. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I've been, but I've been spending a lot of time under the bathroom sink, and I keep thinking that it's fixed. But I always, you know, put a little bucket under there, just test my work, check mm -hmm. my check my work, and all that. But uh, and then the next day, it's always back, and I can't. I've replaced everything. I've, you know, at this point, I feel like I maybe will just get a bucket. <laughs> and just take the whole sink out and maybe build a put Perfect. a bookshelf in there or something with a yeah who needs a sink top. right sinks are Pointless. overrated <laughs> so so that my minor annoyance has been this sort of ongoing battle and you know especially right now it's it's not fun to have to go to home depot or wherever no. you know eight times in one day because you know, <laughs> right? because your sink is gushing water and you can't find you, the thing you thought fixed it didn't really and it's been a it's been hard guys thanks for letting me talk about yeah that. no of, well, course. of course i am yeah. i am curious just so i can be educated as well what is a shark bite so it's a it's a connection right so you uh -huh. have a like uh if you have pieces of pipe that need to be connected so plumbing always used to be all this copper right and mm. it may, it's may be depending on where you live still be copper piping but as it, you know, it's getting replaced with this stuff called PEX piping, which is plastic uh -huh. or vinyl or some, I don't know, some space age polymer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, and anyway, you, you, uh, so to connect two pieces together, this thing, it kind of looks like a tube mm -hmm. that, would, that might be used on like the Death Star. It's like it got all these weird. And so you put the tube in it and it clamps down on the inside. So it secure, you know, secures the water without leakage. I have uh -huh. had no problems with shark bites. I can hardly, highly recommend them. But nice. There's no no leakage there, but other spots can't stop. 
the won't worst. stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, there, we learned a little something today too. Improv so, comedy so slash it, plumbing advice. Really, I know Always a lot education. about plumbing is the truth. I know a lot about it now. <laughs> uh, Josh, do you have anything, any other questions or anything? Uh, is it, uh, what's the temperature of the water that's leaking at least? It's the, the cold, cold water, water, fortunately. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, yes, I have the hot water under control. It's the cold water that's leaking, so. Nice. Wonderful. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I think we're ready to go, yeah? Great. Yeah, you got something? I do indeed. Wonderful, all right. All right, then here we go. I'm gonna go off stage. We open in the middle of a vast ocean a pirate ship sailing across the calm waters at the moment. One man resides at the helm, Captain Matt, or looking his ship, wind blowing in his hair, his luscious, luxurious hair. Two of his crew members, one his first mate, and the other, the one who just kind of stays up in the crow's nest a lot, come to him with an issue. Or, Captain, there's a bit of an issue here, Captain. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know you don't, it's me, Stan, I, I live up in the crow's nest usually, but I'm here now as well. Uh, I, I'm kind of just backing up everything that he's saying. He's Great. not with me, Captain. I just say, oh. Oh, right, just, we just kind of met, yeah, yeah here just, then. thank you. Mm -hmm. Captain. Yar, uh, boys, yar. Yar. Yar, Captain. Captain, the waters appear to be calm, and yet we just keep going in one direction, and the crew and I are a bit worried about uh, future endeavors of the sea and why we haven't landed yet. Uh, well, um, I think we might want to ask our friend uh, Stan over here about that, as he's up in the oh. crow's nest, which, as you may know, I rely on greatly for uh, direction. We're, we're yeah. supposed to be heading to the Bahamas, for a little uh, R and R, R and R, R and R, R and R. R, and R. R, and R. <laughs> so, so my job is important. Then is that what we're establishing? That I'm, I'm well, very let's valuable. Well, get carried away. It's oh. not. It's more that you are loud. You have a loud voice, so right. like you can say if you know a vast team and things mm -hmm. like that. Really, I do love to say that. And, and, yes, uh, and you say it all the time. You do. You do. Maybe too much. I, I feel like I've been remiss with my performance reviews uh, this this year mm -hmm. this, uh, on the ship. Uh, you uh, you're doing a great job. Uh, not Stan. Tell me Thank your name you. again. You know, it's not Stan, of course, <laughs> yes, sir. You always know yes. it. It's... Thank you. Thank you. I knew it all along. Stan and not Stan. Uh, yeah, Stan we ran out Stan. of water a long time ago, as you guys know. So it's mm. just rough now. <laughs> so yeah, things are. Things are getting weird on the boat. Anyway, which is why Stan's up in the crow's nest. We made sure of that, sir. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, uh, but, but um, uh, yes, uh, if it helps, your job is uh, important. It does help. Thank you very much, Avast. Oh, uh, um, I will that. say, as I was looking around, way up in the crow's nest with my ideal vantage point. Uh, there's a lot of sharks around. Uh, we, we, appear to, we do appear to be in some shark infested waters. Um, so I know, you know, we got the security of the ship, which is nice, but it's just a little disconcerting. Like if someone were to fall overboard, uh, that would probably be bad. Aye. Aye, yar. Yar. Yeah, uh, t t uh, tis a trouble indeed. Uh, I'm open to any ideas. I, uh, I, I uh, am totally open. I do. We could, we could catch them, uh, eat them. I don't know. Maybe uh, sharks are good. In soup is not a politically popular choice, but uh, delicious. Mm. It's. I mean, who doesn't like a good shark stew? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'd be the first to say that I love a good shark stew. I think I'm Irish now. Uh, but, uh, Captain, I, I think maybe the best choice for us to do is, you know, continue on mission and head down for some R and R. And uh, we need to not worry ourselves about trivial matters of sharks. We're on board, they're in the water. Why worry? 
Yar, yar. Maybe we just leave yar. them be. And uh, I, I appreciate the observation, Stan. That is, you know, I, I do appreciate that. But if you could keep us, worry less about what's in the water and and more about where we're going. Yes, do you have a que Sorry. question? Uh, comment, it's, more of, it's more of a comment, really. And I know, you know, the goings on on the interior of the ship is not my domain as living up in the crow's nest i kind of look out more often i have heard rumblings though that the ship's like piping might not be so well and that we're really nervous about sharks maybe coming up into the lavatory of the ship mm. sir now uh, of course i i hate to side with stan over here as you well know but I, it's okay uh, not stan <laughs> all right uh, but I, I would, I'd be lying if I said I didn't hear some creaking and, and stirring at night in our pipes. You know, the plumbing on this ship has been, we've been out to sea for quite some time. And as you know, our pipes are made of copper. It's the only pipe available at this past time. Yar. Well, uh, yar, yar. Perhaps we should look into that. I did go down there. I, I gave you guys a bucket. Um, and I mean, we appreciate my, the my lavatory is fine. I did give you a buck. I, you know, is that helping? Yeah, the entire crew is is loves, sir, that you gave I, us that bucket. I will say the bucket is full right now. It's quite full, sir. Uh, there's mm. quite a few members of the crew, and we're all sharing that one amazing bucket. Beautiful um, bucket. Beautiful bucket. Very nice wood siding. Uh, so we're just wondering, maybe instead of twiddling our thumbs, we could uh, just, you know, send someone down there that has the know-how, the smartest of the of the ship should probably go down there. And, uh, of course, sir, you are the smartest of the crew. I Gotten. wouldn't volunteer you, but you are the captain. Gotten. Well, uh, Yar, thank yeah. you. Uh, uh, much appreciated. I, I'd be happy to come down and help. Um, what we need is some kind of a, a, a replacement pipe, I think, probably. Mm. It seems like the problem seems to be coming from the pipal region mm -hmm. of the, of the heard of that. sink. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, my uh, just uh, sort of uh, drawing on my vast technological avast. knowledge. Uh, nah, right. Uh, uh, my so, avast technical knowledge, thank you. Never let, a, never let a pun, pun opportunity go to waste. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, uh, sir, so are you saying we should go on a mission to discover this missing pipe piece? Yes, I love missions, yes. I mean, who doesn't have a good mission? Yar. Yar. Well, uh, Stan, is there uh, you, you you're good with maps. Are we near any place that might uh, have that piece we're looking for? You know, I judging by the stars, since it's oh, nighttime easy. and we can see the stars right now. Yes. I would say that we are fairly close yes, to sorry. the storied island of Home Depot. Oh, I've heard of it. I've never been myself yet. Mm -hmm. I I've also heard a tale or two about the Home Depot. And it's very dangerous there. So oh, I it'd be dangerous. But if we wanted to go, legend tells of a mystical pipe that resides there where that will never leak. Mm. It kind of sounds like you've been using a mystical pipe, if you know what I'm talking about. I, you should see the crow's nest. It's really, it's <laughs> just decked out. It's got He's beads. Been, I, I wouldn't do it, not Stan. He's been trying to get people up into there for months now. It's yeah, very I fun. I, I, yeah, I'm good. I'll stay months and months. down here. But this home to Poe Island uh, sounds fascinating. Uh, set a course. Uh, set a mid, course. Midshipman Stan and uh, or Rose Nesting Stan. This mm -hmm. way. For the island of <laughs> home to Poe. Right over there. Wonderful. Captain's orders. Let's go. And so they sailed to the mystical island of Home Depot, <laughs> the wind again blowing through the luxurious captain's hair, until finally they made their way uh, just to the edge and sent out a small crew made up of the captain himself, 
uh, not Stan, and then Stan somehow weaseled his way in there too. And they, they set a course for the shore in their small vessel. Come along, not Stan, uh, to, the, to the island. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, I'm rowing. Uh, I can't help but notice, why did Stan come along again, it, sir? I was going to ask you the same. Do, do you think I, any, I brought any, snacks. Oh, oh well. Oh, oh what, uh, what kind of snacks did you bring, Stan? I brought some beef jerky. Oh. Uh, some Thanks. Pringles, you know, basic road trip sort of, I guess sea trip for in our case. Uh, oh, very good. I love, Gatorade. I love both those things. Blue Gatorade. Yes. Blue yes. Gatorade as the sea. Thank you, yes. thank you. But anyway, uh, he, he brought snacks, not Stan, so I think All right. we'll, we'll let him come. We don't want to, you know, get hungry. Anyway, He's great always, to have you yay. boys aboard. <laughs> oh, I should oh. mention that, uh, you know, on the island, the legend also tells of, uh, you know, some traps, perhaps, that we might have to overcome. Um, so we should just probably be aware of that. Um, you know, typical mystical island sort of stuff. <laughs> you didn't think about mentioning this before we left until we were already on, on the way. And you thought, bring Pringles and Gatorade, but not, you know, weapons or anything like that. Well, we'll see. I don't know if they're, maybe we, they won't be weapon. We won't need weapons, maybe. Maybe we'll just need snacks. Who knows? Oh. It's a mystical island, I guess. It's, it's amazing the problems you can solve with beef jerky and Pringles. Right? That's true. Yeah. Well, uh, here we are pulling up to the dock. Ooh. Oh. Our little <laughs> yeah, the lovely dock. It's, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's orange. pretty nice. Orange. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's great. Right. It's interesting that they, there's a dock already built here. That that means that there must be someone living here, yes? Oh, it, I'm sorry. It looks like this is an exit only dock. And the oh. entrance only dock is uh. way down there. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. I guess I'll, I'm sorry. It looked like the entrance. I, well, I'm terribly sorry. I, I just, oh, there we go. There we go. It looks like if we need any help, there's some guys over there that might uh, get, come, come, come just over there by the, by the entrance. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we can. Go we see uh, t two island workers um, that look like they're hammering uh, at the dock and staring at the sky sometimes too. <laughs> Oh, ahoy, mateys. Oh, ahoy. Ahoy. Hi, hi hello, yes, hello. I'm uh, uh, Captain Rapport. Uh, uh, yeah, hello, hi. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't, it's okay. You don't need to salute it, all right. Um, it, I appreciate it. I mean, I, I'm not, it's cool. Thank you for the respect, but. Oh, of course. I'm not. We're very I'm respectful. Not, I'm a pirate captain. Mm. I mean, you don't that around but we don't really we don't do we don't really do that kind of stuff oh okay okay i'll say it, we were confused if you were a pirate or not because we saw the flag uh, of course the skull and the crossbones but then we yeah. saw that you obeyed the rules and used the entrance dock and not the exit dock um even though you were already over there so it's like well that's a uh, thoughtful thing to do not like what a pirate yeah. would do so we all appreciated it, nice. it. I've always thought, you know, just because I'm a pirate, I mean, doesn't mean I have to be rude. You know, God, I mean, so true. I'm just, you know, if oh, I, I if I respect other people, then, you know, it makes my job a lot easier, frankly. Yeah. Uh, if I, you know, the less, the less, you know, stabbing I have to do to get in the place and get oh, what yeah. I need, you know, oh, the better. Yeah. I mean, stabbing is messy and, you, you know, there's a lot of, clean up and re-sharpening mm. things and you know i mean it's a pain it's a pain so uh you know it's just easier to, you know you get you catch more flies with honey huh yeah, yeah. you know what that's i mean true. that's true that sounds like a saying that will last that's a really awesome saying i've never heard that before <laughs> well uh captain uh, like i said we appreciate you is there anything mm -hmm. that we can help you with well, I have a problem on my ship. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, been having an ongoing issue with uh, one of the one of the uh, sinks down in the mm. hold, 
down below. One mm -hmm. of the one of the sinks that the men use. So right. you know, it's got this thing, and it it's uh, it's like a copper, right? And so it's like a, right. you know, melted together. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, and so then it's where it's connected. It's it's dripping. I mean, I gave him a bucket. I, I gave him a bucket. A, a, oh, that's a, again. I gave him a really nice. really nice bucket. A really good one. And they're, now they're back at me about oh, the sink is still leaking, and what are we gonna do? And they're all on me about it. Well, I don't know if anyone told you this, but we have, we have like a mystical pipe here on the mm -hmm. island. It's like our sacred treasure, honestly. It honestly is, and we've, yeah, occasionally, once a year, we like to go up to the shrine and, and worship in front of it, and uh, actually, that's very funny and ironic that you would land today. Today is our honorable uh, journey up to the temple. Yeah, it's very honorable. We're going to honor the it's hell out very, of it. We honor it all the time. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, well, uh, can, I, can I come with you? Check it out? I mean, sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, uh, I don't really trust any of those people you came with, though. They seem to be arguing a lot over there uh, and just <laughs> yeah. yelling at each other. That that sounds like them. There, you know that thing where people are really alike, and so you'd think they'd get along really well, but then they don't. Yeah, kind of like, I, got, I got a lot of that on my ship. You guys, it's rough. It's rough. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, like I said, you're welcome to come with us. We were actually just about to get off guard duty and, uh, and head on up there. Yeah, I will cool. say uh, something that is typical, though, at these honor, honor roll uh, ceremonies honor is we do have to make just a small, like, uh, tribute, I guess you would call it. Yeah, um, I call it a tribute. To the gods. Uh, um, gift, typically, if it's, you will. It's, yeah, it's a kind of like, uh, typically what we try and do is uh, slaughter an animal first. And then we'll kind of leave it out in the sun so that we can dry the meat a little bit. Really dry it out. Yeah, dry the meat. It's almost like hard uh, in a way. But anyway, that's our typical tribute. So I don't know if you have any yeah, like we've, that. We've been kind of running out of animals, to be honest with you. And a few of us are talking about using us and, uh, as a oh, joke, yeah, as a joke, oh, obviously. Obvious uh, joke. But that's, uh, that's something that be on the lookout as we're heading up, we're going to need to get mm -hmm. some of that dried meat. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, now that you say that, we might want to go uh, talk to this guy that worked for me. His name is Stan. He, um, it seems like his skin would dry out real well. <laughs> like if we just, <laughs> I just, I don't, I, I'm just throwing that I, out there. That right, it would sure, probably, sure. <laughs> it's kind of, he's very pale and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, mm -hmm. seems like it would just, you could just flay him and like. Well, let, let's like, go get him. In minutes, you know, in minutes probably. With us. Yeah, I, I got this hammer. I, that's yeah. good. And I have this stick that I've been holding. Uh, he, he thinks I'm probably the smart guy, so he might have another solution, but just off the top of my head, just, just. Hit him with that hammer and. All right. Uh, you, know. Uh, you know what? Why don't I stay here and, and guard the dock and mm -hmm. uh, and you can go over and talk to the stand guy. Oh, and perfect. The captain. Mm -hmm. sounds, yeah, good. That sounds great. All right. See how that works out. <laughs> we'll see you guys awesome. soon. Awesome. So in they venture back over to where Stan and not Stan are arguing. Okay. For the last time, it's wind power. That's how the ship moves. I'm Irish, actually. I dare you. It's wind, I tell you. That's how the ship moves. But I'm talking about the ship that you were just rowing. You did it with your arms. That's not wind. Well, hey, it's guys. a small. Oh, oh, the captain is Oh, back. Captain. Hey there, Captain. Yeah, don't, <laughs> oh, we don't salute. Sorry. No oh, salute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, so you know that's my standing that's right. policy. Mm -hmm. Stand. Yes, sorry, not sorry. Standing. All right. I, don't. I did. It was. I hit an itch, and I said and a fly was near me. Who's your friend over here? Yeah, who's this? Oh, the guy with the hammer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I introduce yourself. Uh, I never. I didn't catch your name yet. And he's. Uh, he works here. He. I, I mean, he lives here. He lives here. Oh. Don't. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. I live here. Uh, which one of you is? Uh, you said Stan. Did you say his name? Stan? Yeah, Stan's the one in the uh, the shirt. Oh, that's a good looking shirt, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
Uh, all right then. <coughs> I just, hold on. Hold oh, on. oh. oh. Oi. Uh, k- 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 Captain, I, Sorry, I don't want to go against. Should... <laughs> not that I'm un- unpleased with the, how this turned out, but I'm not next, am I? I just. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You're we just you're needed the one. Just hold tight there with that. Have that. Yeah, just the one, I think. So it's kind of a complicated thing. They've, they've, they've probably got a thing that'll work to fix your sink, right? Oh. Great, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Sure, that's, and uh, that's great. so, but we do need some dried, some kind of dried meat. And I, I couldn't really think of anything that we might have that was like that. So I just suggested maybe they could use some stand meat for, you know, not to be disrespectful or whatever, but you know what I mean. Like just oh, yeah, of course, sir. Cut, no, a, cut a few slices off and dried out on a rock real quick and you know um okay to, uh, as an offering to, to help us maybe that way we'll get the pipe and then i can fix the sink and then and then you guys won't have to deal with my horrible bucket that you hate so much anymore oh, oh of course sir all that sounds uh, wonderful but uh, uh d- didn't uh, <laughs> stan bring uh, some snacks and i think he might have brought what he called beef jerky along and uh we could have used that and not actually, you know, k- kill one of our crew members. Yeah, that is, that is, I, that you, is. I'm not going to go against what you say, sir. If you Can I see the stuff the that you brought? Uh, uh, yeah, Stan, Stan's the one that brought it. It's, Stan, he probably yeah, got yeah, it on him. Search. Oh, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's go ahead and search his stuff. You know what? This is great, and we could have used this. Um, this guy, he's already dead. Like, I hit him pretty hard right to the head with a hammer. Uh, so yep. he's yeah, done. Good job, good job, by the way. What's Very, that? Good job, I don't know. Good job. I don't, I don't know if you've done that kind of thing before, but that was really good. Yeah, I mean, I have. One, one pop and he was gone. That was mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. efficient. I'll say, on our way up to the top of the mountain, this will make great mountain trip food, I'll say. Uh, so we can totally use this to like munch on while we're lugging Stan's body up to the top of the mountain. Cool. Really? So, right, so we Captain. will still we will still be able to use Stan then. Oh yeah, I don't want to let him go to waste. We use every part of the Stan here on the island. Great. Great. I am so glad that my name is not Stan. <laughs> it's uh, what? <laughs> it's it's not Stan. Okay. Oh, so what is it? Uh, it's not Stan. Uh, anyway, <laughs> who? Does, uh, I'll pick up my dead friend. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, and I'll carry him up uh, behind you. Uh, lead the way, and uh, I trust you full heart, oh, stranger. Right. Thank you. And, uh, ca- thank, and you thank you. Not oh. Stan, thank you. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't salute you. So mm-hmm. we'll do the finger points. Yeah. Uh, disrespectful, but whatever. <laughs> <All right>. So <laughs> they sure. lug Stan's body up to the top of the mountain, eating beef jerky along the mm. way, until finally they reach the peak, and lay his now dried carcass, it dried on the way up there, uh, on the altar as a sacrifice to the gods of the island. Did anybody bring any water? I, mm. I, no one carried, helped me carry this body up this mountain. It looks like maybe the body has something else in his, his bag there that is still attached to it. Yeah. Just get in there, see what's in there. Yar. <laughs> Yari, tis the blue Gatorade. Ah, <laughs> nice. the sea. That'll put those electrolytes right back inside my body. <laughs> the best of all Gatorades. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, uh, this will do That's it. Good. So um, with all that done, here is the mystical pipe. You did great. Ooh, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, nice. Hold on to this for me, will you? Not of, of course. I, it would be an honor. Keep that safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really uh, appreciate your help. That was really, really easy for me, and and uh, I really appreciate. That. Yeah, you just had to kill one of your crew. Simple. Well, I mean, I didn't, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know, right, I, right, right, I mean, right. Taken, but um. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, I don't know if you're like looking or you know for some new employment or uh, you know looking to maybe get off the island or you know I just thought. That was some pretty, what did you think, Nats? I thought that was some pretty good hammer work there. Well, I won't lie. That was the best hammer and I have seen on the seven seas. But uh, I mean, I right. mean, how will the rest of the crew feel that uh, suddenly we're being replaced just like that? Like all we have to do is be 
do something wrong and we'll just be replaced? Well, maybe if they switch shirts or something, you, you, you know, those dummies won't know. They won't know. But we'll say he has the same nose structure as Stan. So right. maybe... Uh, it, it is terrible, and there is a little bit of cannibalism occasionally involved, but mm -hmm. um, only only occasionally. Yeah, and uh, and we're frequently surrounded by sharks. Uh, oh. But if you're interested, love catching sharks, I am so into that. I whack them with a hammer all the time. I'm very good at it. Nice. Very interesting, because that's one of our main problems. We're trying to get. To the Bahamas and uh, for a little R and R. But, oh my uh, goodness! Sharks infested waters are, are really bad, and we didn't want them to get caught up in our boat rotor. So yeah, I can, yeah, <laughs> that's how it's built for sure. Uh, I can take care of that for you, and I do, I have a mean shark stew recipe if you're interested. Ooh, I I do appreciate a good shark stew. Yeah, we'll have to let. I, uh, Cookie know about that. Does Cookie, Cookie, Cookie know about that? Cookie, yeah. Cookie's an, in, an interesting bloke, but I, I'm sure he'll be all right. Now, all right. what I need, what I need to know is how to attach this pipe that not Stan has mm -hmm. in the way. How am I going to attach that to the upper piping that's already there? That's okay. Yes. Now this, this is. is it, it gets a bit tricky here, but essentially what we have to do is actually catch a shark and use the mouth of the shark to clamp them together. It's called a shark bite. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting. I, also, I find it very uh, strange that, of course, the one thing we need is the one thing that you do very well. And you oh. just conveniently right here. Just, just the way it happened to work out there, not Stan. I don't know why we're pointing fingers here. Hey, maybe it's just my pirate nature, but it, I'm hard to trust. <laughs> someone I just, oh! oh. <laughs> well, he was uh, bad at saluting anyway, so. It's true, he never really respected you. Hey, you guys never came and got me. I was oh, standing down there guarding the thing. We were supposed to do this honorable trip up here, and. <sighs> yeah, it's all done, we did it. Oh, fine. All right. I uh, hold on. Let me. And I have the pipe right here. I just. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, that's hey, uh, you have an extra God. spot on your crew now. Uh, can my friend come along? He's oh, really good at guarding true. things. That, that I, would be, I do like you, to sharpen things. The sharpening and uh, and guarding. You, you seems like you did a very good job at guarding. I'm really good at standing still and watching people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, right. seeming like I'm helpful. Yeah. Um. What would be great? I mean, I'd love to hire you. I, I mean, the, oh. the pay is the pay is great. Um, lots of vacation time. Um, it's uh, you know not very hard work at all. It's great. Uh, we got a hammer guy who takes care of most everything. Oh, so is that really you? That's me. Yeah, I'm the hammer guy. I because yeah, I was like, this guy's the best at hammering. <laughs> right. Right. Totally. Totally learned that today. Um, cool. So yeah, I mean, I think really the only thing I need to know is like if if you can, uh, you know, do the pirate stuff, you know, the usual the like do you have a hook hand by chance? Oh, uh, I have regular hands. Uh, regular hand. regular hands. Um, I I, I, I strike, can, but, but okay. can I see that sharp yeah. stick for a second? Sure. Yeah. Here. Yeah. You. And hey, high five. All right. <laughs> oh. You you stabbed off my hand. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> good thing I'm I'm also very good at bandages. <laughs> I'm okay, <laughs> then I'm able you to really, go and cover this up for, before I bled out here on this yeah, mountain top. Very high tolerance for pain. Now we're ready what? for that hook hand. Now we're ready. That was oh, great. Very helpful. You, see. Oh my goodness, this, you guys. Uh, we have a great hook section here at. at the island of home. Oh yeah, that's another honor roll uh, ceremony that we have uh, that that's we'll have to get to at a later time. Yeah, technically it's not for another four months, but uh, I was mm -hmm. just, I was, you know, mentioning it so we can come back and get that hook hand. And so they yeah. all sailed back to the ship together to uh, fix the pipe. The crew was happy and the bucket that the captain gave them was truly an honorable bucket. And it, so it held a place of reference in the ship's galley to this very day. The end. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fantastic. Uh, we yeah. should have named. We should have yeah. replaced the bucket uh, for the crow's nest, and we could have. We could have named it the Stan. No, <laughs> the Stan's Stan. nest. The law is the Stan's nest. Oh my god. <laughs> the Stan's nest. Very good. Beautiful. Um, Matt, thank you so much for playing. That was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I had a great time too. That was really fun, guys. <laughs> um, is there, uh, as we're wrapping up, is there anything that you want to plug or talk about before we sign off? Uh, yeah, I would love to talk about, um, just to mention, I had, um, sorry, my video failed me. But That's okay. We can we still are. hear you loud and clear. Yeah, I'll just have to use my dulcet tones to, to, uh, to get you enthralled. Uh, no, uh, I mentioned earlier at the top of the show that I am the director of education for the Heart of America Shakespeare Festival. Just like every other arts organization, we've had to, you know, completely rethink our plans and what we're doing. I, I'm sure a lot of your audience knows that the, fe the festival itself's production of Tempest is postponed now till 2021. Well, we also, what they may or may not know, we, we've, we've had summer camps going in Kansas City since 1997. Uh, and, uh, and we, uh, this year, of course, uh, due to the circumstances, we, we have moved all our camps to online camps. Um, so, so, we would love, if you know anyone, we have camps for, for uh, young folks age five to 18, not all in the same camp. We have, <laughs> we have uh, five different camps running over the summer. All, they will all be virtual, all conducted over Zoom. And uh, I'll be teaching some, uh, some of our other great teaching artists will be showing up uh, to, to, to be part of it. And, um, you know, if you know any young people that are into acting or Shakespeare or sword fighting or history or, you know, the Lord of the Rings or, you know, D&D, uh, &D, all these things, they, you know, that any avenue. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Our Camp Shakespeare students are part of all of that. They're part of a huge Venn diagram of beautiful nerddom. So, um, <laughs> so uh, as am I. So, uh, so we'd love to have anybody interested come and join us and uh, learn about all that stuff and, and have a great time with us. Each, uh, the camps are two weeks and uh, <clears throat> they, they run from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we've made sure we work in a lot of stuff that happens off screen. So it's not just you know, sitting around all day on your laptop or iPad or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different craft projects and acting exercises that will be active and, and away from screen time too, which I know is nice. Really important since everybody's had to go to school on their computer for the last couple months. Indeed. Yeah. Awesome. But that's what I got to plug. Yeah. Thanks, guys. For <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. That sounds like a blast. Uh, awesome. All right. Uh, and uh, until next week, Josh. We are saying goodbye now. Certainly are.